In a contract announcement dated March 12th, the U.S. Department of Defense disclosed that General Atomics Aeronautical Systems, Inc. has secured a $250 million contract for the procurement of MQ-9B Sky Guardian unmanned aerial vehicles for Taiwan. The contract, awarded by the U.S. Air Force Life Cycle Management Center, enables the company to deliver four MQ-9B unmanned aerial vehicles, along with two certifiable ground control stations, spare parts, and support equipment. While Taiwan is currently advancing its own Medium Altitude Long Endurance, or MAIL, UAV program with the Teng Yun-2, the MQ-9B Sky Guardian represents a dedicated maritime patrol and anti-submarine warfare ASW, platform. The Teng Yun-2, unveiled in 2020, serves a different role comparable to the MQ-9A Reaper UCAV. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how American MQ-9B Sky Guardian could help Taiwan against China. Let's get started. Before we proceed, a word on NordVPN, which is one of the most trusted VPN brands worldwide that has a no-log policy validated by Deloitte, an industry-leading Big Four auditing firm. NordVPN provides an encrypted tunnel that protects your privacy by preventing external entry to your internet traffic as well as enabling you to access content that's blocked based on geolocation. Best of all, with one NordVPN account, you can secure up to six devices at the same time. Get an exclusive NordVPN deal with massive savings by going to nordvpn.com defense or clicking the link in the description. It's risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. MQ-9B Sky Guardian is a variant of the MQ-9A Reaper. International demand for a male RPAS, medium altitude, long endurance, remotely piloted aircraft system, capable of being certified for operation within civilian airspace, drove General Atomics to develop a version of the platform known by GAASI as MQ-9B Sky Guardian, previously called Certifiable Predator B, to make it compliant with European flight regulations to get more sales in European countries. In order to fly over national airspace, the aircraft meets NATO STANAG 4671 airworthiness requirements with lightning protection, different composite materials, and sense and avoid technology. Performance changes include a 79-foot or 24-meter wingspan that has winglets and enough fuel for a 40-hour endurance at 50,000 feet, or 15,000 meters. Features include Lynx multi-mode radar, high-definition EOIR full-motion video sensor, D and anti-icing system, TCAS, and automatic takeoff and land. The system also includes a completely redesigned and modernized integrated ground control station with four crew stations. Notably, the Lynx radar system can operate in different modes, such as Synthetic Aperture Radar SAR, Ground Moving Target Indicator GMTI, and Inverse SAR, ISAR, among others. Its capabilities make it useful for missions such as reconnaissance, surveillance, and search and rescue operations. Sky Guardian features nine hardpoints, eight wing, one centerline, with a max 4,750 pound or 2,155 kilogram external payload capacity. The hard points give it the ability to deploy a combination of AGM-114 Hellfire, GBU-12 Paveway, and GBU-38 JDAM munitions. AGM-114 Hellfire air-to-surface missile is capable of precision strikes. It can be used with many types of warheads, like high-explosive anti-tank or heat, or tandem anti-armor metal augmented charge (MAC), or shape charge blast fragmentation. GBU-12 Paveway is a aerial launch guided bomb. It's based on the Mark 82 500-pound general purpose bomb, but has a nose-mounted laser seeker and fins for guidance. GPS guidance modes have been added to make the bomb more accurate. The GBU-38 Joint Direct Attack Munition, or JDAM, is a 500-pound or 226-kilogram bomb 
manufactured by Boeing, using the Mark 82 bomb body. KDAM is a guidance kit that is an inertial guidance system coupled to a GPS receiver that converts unguided bombs into all-weather smart munitions. JDAM has a published range of up to 15 nautical miles or 28 kilometers. All of these are air-to-ground weapons, but it could potentially be armed with AIM-9X air-to-air -air missile. AIM-9X has a speed of Mach 2.5 and a range of 22 miles, or 35 kilometers. It has infrared homing for guidance and has a 9.4 kilogram warhead. China is separated from Taiwan through the Taiwan Strait, which is about 100 miles or 160 kilometers wide. CCP will have to move its forces across the strait in case it decides to invade. Such an amphibious operation will not be an easy one. For Beijing to entertain any hopes of success, China would need to mobilize thousands of tanks, artillery pieces, armored vehicles, and rocket launchers alongside their troops. Vast quantities of equipment and fuel would need to be transported alongside them. Taiwan has been bolstering its arsenal with affordable and potent land-based anti-ship missiles similar to the Neptune missile utilized by Ukraine to sink the Russian cruiser Moskva in the Black Sea. Given the fact that Taiwan also has a wide array of advanced weapons, including an American-made F-16 fighter, the best scenario for China would be to achieve tactical surprise. This is where Sky Guardian will be very effective since it's an excellent surveillance platform. As Taiwan steadfastly rebuffs China's territorial assertion, Beijing has never excluded the use of force to assert its control over the island nation. Military and strategic experts believe that China could undertake military action in this decade. At present, the formidable naval and air forces of the People's Liberation Army PLA, are persistently making regular menacing gestures, deploying probing fights and naval maneuvers in the Taiwan Strait, as well as conducting military exercises. To commemorate the 96th anniversary of the PLA, China's state broadcaster, CCTV, aired Chasing Dreams, an eight-part documentary detailing the Chinese armed forces' preparations for a potential attack on Taiwan. The initial episodes centered around recent military drills conducted by China near Taiwan featuring compelling testimonials from numerous PLA soldiers who expressed their readiness to sacrifice their lives in the event of a Taiwan invasion. So the threat of invasion is pretty real. Viewers may note that Taiwan will need to hold off China till the US and potentially Japanese forces get involved. The availability of Sky Guardian greatly reduces the chances of China catching Taiwan by surprise. The platform also has offensive capabilities that could be used in certain scenarios. It's not hard to see that Sky Guardian would be an excellent acquisition for Taiwan. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting. And kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.